Well, obviously, the 1985 World Championship was was the biggest the biggest thing in my career. At that time, Steve Davis was nom dominating the game of snooker. I mean, to sit there for the first seven frames and uh, watch Steve Davis pot ball after ball and, and just make break after break never looked like missing. Everybody is saying, it's a whitewash. I don't know what the commentators were thinking. Now, somehow, Dennis Taylor climbed back into that final. I started making break after break. And finally, he got down to the last colours of the final frame. At that stage, I was so nervous. And the blue was very tricky. I potted a tricky blue. Took the pink. He turned the light to play the double. I was going to try and double the black across into the middle pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He just missed it. By a fraction. An ashen Steve Davis came to the table. No. And he missed uh, a cut into the top pocket, which he would pot a thousand times out of a thousand. But on this occasion, he missed it. This is really unbelievable. He overcut it and left me the, the simplest of chances. And I took ages on the shot and, and let go of the cue so that I wouldn't snatch at it. Yeah. He's done it! And uh, fortunately, the black disappeared into the corner pocket. Dennis Taylor, for the first time, becomes Embassy World Snooker Champion 1985. Over 18 million people tuned in to see Dennis Taylor lift the trophy. Still the highest ever viewing figure for that time of night on any channel.